is going on guys? My name is Doug. Welcome back to another video. I'm very happy to see you guys here again today. We are going to be listening to a track called Slime Meister produced by Lou Beats by Blood Blixing. One of you guys submitted this track to me, asked me to give it a listen, and uh, I thought that the idea was pretty novel. And so, um, you know, why not give it a shot? Uh, it's on SoundCloud, by the way. It's got a tag on it that says alternative rock. So we'll see what this really sounds like. Um, but the idea behind this track is that it's actually a mixtape that is consistent of one song that is 15 minutes long. So it's actually six tracks put together into one single song. Uh, and that turns this into a 15 minute mixtape with just one track on it. I think that it's a pretty unique idea. Given that it's only 15 minutes long, I'm assuming that it'll probably be something really easy to put on in your headphones and just let it play all the way through. Alternative rock though, I'm, I'm, I'm really not very sure what to expect from this. It might be uh, a troll, honestly, but um, we'll see. Uh, and yeah, just a very novel concept, putting you guys onto a new artist. Um, you know, I always like taking a listen to these, these more underground songs that uh that not too many people are, are onto yet although i say that but this has like 130,000 plays on soundcloud i'm not sure when it was released so depending on when it was released it's still not extremely major or mainstream it's good it's got a good streaming number though that's actually very very decent um and yeah that's basically the idea behind this video i hope you guys are excited to give a listen to some new stuff i know for sure that i am um, and this is also to hold you guys off until I release my Lil Wayne video because I am going to be making a video for that. I'm not going to be reacting to all 24 tracks though. What I'm doing is listening to the project, selecting my favorite songs, and then I will make a video where I listen to my favorite songs out of the 24 and just kind of showcase them and, and, and highlight why I like them so much. And I feel like that'll be a nice way to show some love to the project without being overly negative. I think that that's about as much of an intro that this video really needs. Um, you guys know how you can support the channel. All the links to my social media, the Patreon and things like that are in the description. And so uh, I'm going to let you do your thing and I'm going to do my thing. We're going to get into it. Like I said, the link to this track will actually be in the description. It's called Slime Meister, produced by Lou Beats. Um, so I'm assuming that all six of the songs are produced by Lou Beats. And um, yeah, let's get it. You ain't touching my sound. You ain't touching my drip. You ain't touching my sound. You ain't touching my drip. Girl, I can not it. She ride my dick like a holly. Hey. We love you. Uh, yeah, 7.30, yeah, 7.30, uh, she gave me brain my drip, you ain't touching my sound, you ain't touching my drip. I don't really understand the alternative rock tag, I'm assuming that it, it might be a joke, or maybe one of the other tracks uh, is gonna be in that kind of vein, but this kind of sounds like, like a, a, a Pierre Bourne type beat, um, that's not to put it down, saying that it is like a tight beat, you know, but it's in that same style. Uh, that Playboy Cardi, Pierre Bourne, um, Young Nudie kind of vibe. Very energetic, really nice synths in the background, heavy 808s, and the flow is just really attractive. You know, it's very pleasant. Uh, it's got a really crazy bounce to it. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I was hit a little bit out of left field by the song, um, but I'm enjoying it. They always hear him and they never give him credit. Yeah, yeah, I was chest naked in the trap. So I'm assuming this is the point where it transitions into the, into the next song. Um, yeah, like I said, I just really like that energy. I was hit, uh, I was surprised by it a little bit um, because of that, that alternative rock tag. I don't know why it's there, but um, yeah, it, it's got really nice bounce. It's got crazy chaotic energy. It's got that Pierre Bourne bounce, uh, really catchy hook, a really nice flow during the verses. There's really nothing I could really say bad about it. Um, it does sound like the little bit of distortion on the vocals is intentional. It doesn't sound like it's due to bad recording quality or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this just, it's got a really cool, fun vibe to it. I walk down the street, yeah. I see the jugs and drugs, yeah. I see the plugs and plugs, plugs. I see the bad fans. I do the digital dash. I hit the ball with the hash. Ah, yeah. uh, the digital I dash flow. Street. I like it. I see the ass. You don't know how to Oh, the kick that just came in. Stacks. What am I club and taxi? Yeah. 
shirt red like a ketchup on his back. You racing me, beat. Yeah. Yo, I love this vibe. I see the blows and blows. I see the ass and ass. This is dope. I like this vibe, man. It's got a crazy energy to it. Really nice chaotic feel. Love the digital dash flow. Love that little callback. Just lots of energy, man. It's really nice. Yo, look at the synths, bro. Have a dream of being rich. Make it up like the matrix. I love that clap pattern. Make the throw up your hood. Yeah. How about the tell some demon? Shard the beam for the semen. Get his man, have a weaver. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you want to say. I get the pussy on there. This has gotta be my favorite beat so far, man. Those synth are, those synths are too crazy, bro. I love the heavy 808, but at the same time, he does have a little bit of a punchy kick over it that comes in every now and then. It's got a really cool bouncy clap pattern. Love the hats. Um, and his flow is just so confident. It's so smooth and relaxed over this beat that it, it really sounds like, although he's not an extremely mainstream artist, it sounds like he's put a lot of time into getting good at what he does, uh, feeling confident and in his zone on the beats, and really owning the songs that he that he comes and, and raps on. So I'm really digging this this energy. This third track right now that I'm listening to um, in, in this song has is, is probably been my favorite so far. Uh, well, another thing is that the, the hook writing, you know, the songwriting for the hooks, they've all been very catchy. Um, and I, I think that that also deserves some praise for sure. All of my niggas blood, some of my niggas crib, all of my niggas real, none of my niggas niggas. And you know There's a very soft flute lead that sounds incredible. Yeah. Hey, a little breakdown? Let's go. This beat is nasty, bro. Blue Beats is killing it, man. Show you want a thug, nigga. Yeah. Pay attention, man. Show you want to fall in love. Not a cashier. Uh, when she look at you, she can tell there ain't no cash there. Rocking mm. uh, D on TV, yeah. TV, yeah. Yeah, she make it work like we are. Ladies on the original. Now. Yo, his, not only is his flow very confident, but the lyrics are very confident as well. Um, talking about how he wakes up and sees people trying to be him. Talking about how he's come up and he's worked very hard to get where he's at. He hasn't been broke since last year. Showing us a little bit of wordplay with the work and re-re line. Um, you know, it's nothing too complex, but it's still a nice little allusion to Rihanna's song, Work, um, that he throws in there just to kind of spice things up a little bit and, and, and keep us interested in this verse because he's being very braggadocious, but at the same time showing off some of the lyricism. I think it's very interesting, especially over such an awesome beat, man. Seriously, Lou Beats has been killing it so far, but Blood Blixing is definitely doing his thing uh, on these on these verses and on these raps for sure. This is awesome. Real right shit. Again, I love the melodies, man. Yo, I'm also hearing some subtle Playboy Cardi references. You know, in that last song, he said, Shardy won a rock star. And then on this one, he just said, you wouldn't even notice me. Kind of sounds like uh, R.I.P. Fredo. You know, so very subtle little Playboy Cardi references on Pierre Bourne style beats. Um, clearly, I think it's very safe to say that Playboy Cardi has influenced him in his music in some way. Although he definitely isn't as melodic as Cardi is, and he's a little more lyrical than Cardi is. So it's still uh, unique to him and still fresh and not, it doesn't sound like he's copying somebody. You know, there's a difference between being influenced by someone and copying them. And this definitely just seems like Cardi has an influence on his music, which I think is really, really dope to see. I love this kick, man. So now I think we're heading into the last part of this track, this 15 minute long track. Whoa. These are some of the most interesting melodies that I've heard, man. Great song, 
song, man. To close out the tape, that's awesome. All right, guys, so that is Slime Meister, produced by Lou Beats, by Blood Blixing. It is a mixtape that is only one song that is 15 minutes long. It consists of six tracks in there. Um, absolutely fantastic, I think. Very refreshing, really nice to hear some Cardi influence, but with somebody who is a little less melodic and more lyrical. Definitely plays around with some very nice flows. Uh, Lou Beats does a great job creating awesome, catchy melodies for the beats uh, and having them, you know, having them knock, but at the same time be very bouncy and wavy. Um, you know, this is just a really fun listen for anybody who is uh, a fan of that Playboy Cardi, Pierre Bourne, Young Nudie style. Um, this is just going to be really, really dope. So if you're a fan of that style, definitely be sure to check this out. Like I said, the link is going to be in the description since this is somebody who is not very mainstream. So uh, if you want to go listen to this, hit that link in the description. And um, yeah, thank you to the person who submitted this. This is absolutely a very fun mixtape. I almost call it a track because it is technically just one song, but it's a very fun mixtape to listen to. I had a blast. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I will be back very soon in another, in another video. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few more Godzai Katana reviews because he submitted more tracks for me to listen to. I'm very excited about that. And uh, I'm also going to be dropping that Lil Wayne video very soon, uh, as well as some beats of my own. So be on the lookout for that. If you're enjoying the content that I'm producing, support the channel with a subscription, following me on the social media. Um, Patreon link is in the description as well. And uh, yeah, I'm just very appreciative of all you guys' support. So uh, I'll see y'all soon. Until then, stay safe as always. Peace out.